the best everyday carry knife for the money on the market today changed my mind. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is take two of making this video for me. I literally sat here for 15 minutes doing an entire review and then I looked at the camera and realized it was flashing card full so it recorded nothing of that. So bear with me on this as I try to get through this review. But today I'm gonna to be sharing my everyday carry knife. I was using this knife out in the yard the other day and I was like, you know what, I've shared with y'all my everyday carry gun that I carry, what I rotate, you know, my Glock 19, my SIGs, the holsters I use with them, the ammunition I use with them. So I need to share with y'all what I carry every day for my knife. This is an essential part of everyday carry rotation in my opinion and you need to have a knife on you. It's a really, really good tool. And this is my budget friendly knife and I have the high end bench maids. I have uh, the 200 plus dollar knives but I tend to gravitate towards this cheap Amazon <laughs> for my everyday carry and I'll share with you why right now. First, we'll just go over the specs about the knife, a little bit of information, what the manufacturer claims, and then I'll give you my opinions, what I like or dislike about the knife. And just so you know, I'm being transparent here, I am not sponsored by this company at all. This is just my opinion. This is a knife that I happen to find and find that it works really, really well for the price. And I'm all about having that budget friendly. I love having the high-end stuff, don't get me wrong. However, it's really nice to be able to find something that's budget friendly and that you can use every day and not worry about it breaking or worry about losing it or anything like that. So this is why I think I tend to gravitate towards this knife for my everyday carry. All right, let's get into it. So this knife is from the Ontario Knife Company. This is called their Rats, the Rat One. It is a three inch blade. It has a full flat taper. Uh, it is made out of the AUS-8 steel, which isn't bad for the price, which you know we'll get into in a minute, and you'll be shocked, as I was, at how much this cost. Uh, another thing I really like about it, it has a four-position reversible clip, so you can put it on either side of you. You want to carry it in different positions, left-handed, right-handed, really convenient. When the knife is closed, it comes in at about 4.1 inches for the handle length. It is a textured nylon handle, which is not extremely aggressive it's a little bit on the lighter side but not it doesn't slip out of your hand at all uh, overall length of the knife when it is open is seven inches it has dual thumb studs which is something that i really like again left-handed right-handed you can use it on either side it has a liner lock i'm not a biggest the biggest fan of liner locks however it's not a deal breaker and once you practice with it you can get pretty quick with closing the knife back up it has a lanyard hole, again, something that I really find convenient and really nice for the price range of this knife because if you're using this knife pretty consistently every day and you're using it in an area where you may drop it, and if you do drop it, you're not getting it back, uh, having a lanyard on there is really, really convenient. Uh, and for the price, again, it is outstanding what this knife comes with. Uh, it comes in at about 2.8 ounces. It's a little bit on the heavier side for me. However, it's again, not a deal breaker, just a little bit heavy. You kind of get used to it. Okay, so those are the specs and I want to share with you what I like about it and what I dislike about it. So one thing I really like about it is the price. It's $33. So you can get this knife for $33 on Amazon. They even have the Rat 2, which is made out of D2 still, and that's $10 more. So it's like 44 bucks for the D2 still, and it's Amazon if you have Prime, it's free shipping, which is amazing. So you're getting this knife at 35 bucks at the end of the day. You, know, you can get two of these, which is what I did for under the price of a higher end Benchmade, or three of them probably for under that price of a higher end knife, which is nothing wrong with having the higher ends, but the reason I gravitate towards this one is one, I don't have to worry about it, you know, breaking or losing it and, and flipping out. You know, I can have an extra backup one if I want for 60 bucks, I can have two of these and not worry about it. As far as sharpness goes, I haven't sharpened it. I've had it for over two and a half years now. I haven't sharpened it. It does need to be sharpened. It's less sharp than when I first got it, obviously, you know, using it every day. However, it's not to the point where it's not cutting anything anymore. It is still pretty sharp. The edge is still holding really, really well. I don't have any chips. I don't have any kind of really bad or dull ends on the knife blade itself. And as I said, I do take care of my knives. You know, I do clean this up every once in a while. Don't just leave it uh, because I really like this knife. Even though it's 30 bucks, I do take care of it. I do take care of my stuff. 
Uh, and as far as the grip handle, I love the, the angle of this grip. It lets you put your index finger in there and get a really good grip. If you have a, you know, bigger hands, you can still get your index finger right here and not have to worry about the knife slipping out of your hand. The texture on this isn't extremely aggressive, which is one of the downfalls for me, is that it, it, it it feels slippery, but it's not, and it's just, I wish it was just a little bit more aggressive, but not the, not a deal breaker, especially when you have that place to put your index finger. And it almost has a mini, it reminds me of my Taurus TX-22, a mini version as far as the grip angle and the design of getting your hand around that grip right there. It's, it's really convenient, it's really comfortable, and I'm not worried about this slipping out my hand. As far as opening the knife, if you practice with it, you know, you get faster, but it is extremely smooth. It has that nice click as soon as it locks out, which is something I really, like, uh, but it's still smooth today after two and a half years for a $30 knife. I will leave the links below, the Amazon links to both of them, the Rat 1, the Rat 2. The Rat 1's 33 bucks of, of posting this video. The Rat 2, I think is 44 bucks, uh, just different steel. They do have a bunch of different colors in this, but I'll leave the links below so you guys can go over there if you want one of these. In my opinion, for $30, you cannot beat this knife. Uh, it's been with me for two and a half years. As I said, I tend to grab this knife over some of my Benchmades or any of my other knives. It's just, I don't know, it's just something about it. I think also, you know, like I said, the price, not having to worry about losing it or breaking it and not breaking the bank. I'm all about having nice things and having those nice things, but it's really nice to find something that's budget friendly and uh, I can get multiple of them and not worry about losing them or breaking them or anything like that. So just wanted to share what I was carrying for my everyday carry knives. And if you made it this far in the video, I have something for you. Uh, I, first of all, I appreciate you for made it through the, the, this far of the video, but uh, it is the giveaway announcement. We're gonna do, I'm gonna share with you what I'm giving away and how you can win it. It's gonna be a Romeo 5 from SIG. These are absolutely amazing. As you can see, this is sealed, an open box. So how do you win that? Well, this is what you have to do. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and you have to leave a comment on this video telling me what everyday carry knife that you have. And on the next video, make sure you leave a comment on, I believe it's the TX-22 video that I have coming out next. Just leave a comment on one of those two videos, on this video and the next video. Be subscribed, hit the like button. You don't have to go to my Instagram. You don't have to do anything like that. Just subscribe, like, and leave a comment on this video and the next one. And uh, I will announce the winner in the end of this week I think Friday Friday this week will be announced but I will give you guys a heads up and let you know when I'll be announcing it so you don't miss out and I will confirm that you are the person that I'm looking for for the winner and you will be sent a Romeo 5 brand new unopened it's an amazing amazing site so you don't want to miss out on that and I appreciate each one of you this is the 500 subscriber giveaway so uh, one of the biggest things about 500 subscribers really quick is the fact that I get the community tab unlocked, which I have, and I get to interact with y'all a little bit more, and it makes it really exciting for me so I can keep you up to date and also just get to know you all, the viewers, a little bit more. So I appreciate each one of you. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week. God bless.